Okay, greetings. This is a follow-up on the uh, cast videos that uh, we did, verse 1 through 20. You can find those on our, our web page. Uh, in those, I just gave you some uh, prayers, some pleas with God for uh, release, for help uh, from people who are in difficult, difficult situations. You, you may find yourself in a very difficult situation. It happens. It happens to everybody. Uh, some people have perpetual difficult situations. Some have temporary perpetual diff uh, temporary difficult situations. But there's none of us that are immune from not, not being in a difficult situation. So in those first 10, I just talked to me, I'll tell you, you know, some prayers. Cry, God, wherever you please, God, help, intercede, God, rescue me, God. And then I gave you 10 illustrations of people that were in very, very difficult situations and God brought them through that. I mean, you think about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in a fire. Or you think about Daniel in a lion's den. Or you think about Moses at the Red Sea, trapped by the Pharaoh's army. But God, God gave victory. God got them through those very, very difficult uh, times. Um, and then and then I did 10 of them on, um, uh, not not the prayer thing, but the idea of uh, a verse. A verse is very powerful. Um, Ephesians 3.20. Uh, but God is, uh, who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think. Or uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 10, 13. There's no temptation taking you but such as a common. But God is faithful, who will not allow, but will provide that you may be able to bear it. Uh, so, so a verse, and then also another difficult situation. So 10, 10 difficult situations, and there are more in the scripture. But uh, God was able, and God got people through seemingly impossible things. And you may feel like you're in one of those impossible uh, situations. You, you don't know how to get through it, how to get out. So my point is on those first uh, 20 that are, that are posted there, uh, you know, you're, you're feeling hopeless or helpless. Uh, go there and just listen to God, listen to God's stories. Uh, one of the great values of the Old Testament is to know that the God of the Old Testament is able to get you through hard things. Now they may not be miraculous, uh, you know, fire out of heaven or uh, parting the water literally or stuff, but God is not inept. God is not indifferent. God is not distant. God knows. God deals. God is able. So please, um, please find hope and help in God's word. Now. It doesn't just come from God's Word, but it also comes from, I think, uh, God's people. And I think there's a program and a, a pattern. So these, these 10 sessions now, which are going to be sessions uh, 21 through 30, are going to be just some steps to getting to a place of help from God's people. And I want to just walk you through those. And then the, the, next, uh, the next 10 videos, I want to just take an, an area of uh, maybe something that's, that's overwhelming you. And I, I would say... Uh, my sad me thing, uh, sex or screens. I mean, you're addicted to, you're consumed by social media or uh, shopping or whatever. And then uh, sad is, uh, A is anger things, attitude things, uh, your fear or revenge and those things are consuming you. And then the Ds, there's a number of Ds, death, divorce, uh, despair, number of things. Me is money, E is eating. You, you, any one of those things. So in, in, in videos um, uh, 31 through um, 40, I want to just address those. I'm going to take each one of those and I'll give you two or three verses to work with. But this session, these 10, I just want to give you, uh, walk you through to a place uh, where you might get some help. And I think there's some steps that you have to be worked through. And I think the very first step, and that's this one, the very first step is that uh, you, you acknowledge that you are that you're in a hole, that you're in a deep, deep place, and you are, in, it's impossible for you to get out. You you just, you come to be honest about that. Uh, drinking, well, you know, I don't have a drinking problem, or, uh, you know, I don't have a pornography problem, or I don't have an eating problem. You know, I, I think that you, you, the honest truth of the matter is, you've got to come to be honest with where, where you're at. Now, that doesn't fix it being honest, but it's the first step. So are you, are you frustrated? Are you not succeeding? Are you stuck? Are you uh, trapped? Um, do you, are you, you admit that you're, you're in a position that you can't extract yourself from? You can't, you can't uh, uh, get out of. And if that's the case, I mean, I think that then God says that he's got uh, some help for you. 
uh, for me, for any of us who are in those, those kinds of uh, uh, hard places. And I want to just give you two or three verses here uh, just to kind of set this scene up and this idea up that there is help available and it comes through God through his, uh, through his people. So one of them is Ephesians, or excuse me, Galatians chapter 6, verse 1. Brethren, if a man is overtaken, you, you, you're falling in a hole, something's got a grip on you, uh, you're, you're, you're in a trap, you're in a, a dark, you're in a, a deep night. If a man is overtaken, you who are spiritual, restore such a one. There's a number of more pieces there. But the, the point is that God says, I use people. I have people, and I use people. And I, I want to bring people into your life. I, so you, you, the first step is I, you admit that you're in trouble, you admit that you're trapped, and then you realize that God says, I can bring help, I can bring a rescue, I can you know, bring the ambulance, I can bring stretcher bearers, I've, I've got my people. If a man is overtaken, you who are spiritual, restore such a one. Verse 2, this is Galatians 6, bear with one another, bear one another's burdens. Okay, so again, God says, I, I've got people, I've got help, if you want it. Uh, it's there, it's available. Here's another one in Hebrews chapter 10. And he says, um, let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works. Okay, we may be, we, we, we've lost our love, our love for God, our love for people, our good works. We are, we're just on, in, in a hole. We just sit in the chair, we groan and we moan. Uh, we have no energy to go out and help anybody else. We just, um, it's just, life has collapsed in on us. And he says, consider one another in order to stir up. So that means others are going to come in and stir up love and stir up good works and try to get you going again. Verse 25, this is Hebrews 10, 25. Not forsaking the assembling yourselves together, to gather, as is the matter of some, but exhorting one another. So people coming alongside to exhort, go, go, go. There's help, there's, there's, there's vision, there's direction. As you see the day approaching. So again... Uh, the, the realization that God has people and uses people, and he would do the same for you if you are willing. Uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 5. He says, Our gospel did not come to you in word only, but in power, Holy Spirit, and much assurance, as you know what kind of men we were among you. So again, that God can raise up people to uh, be examples and be encouragers and to be helpers for you as you're going through whatever you find yourself uh, going through. So the, the, I think the first point here is that you, you acknowledge your situation and that you realize that you're hopeless and helpless and maybe you've tried this and you've tried that and, and other things, but, the, uh, but you, you're finding no help, you're finding no release, and to realize that God does have a 911, God does have a, 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 a people group that can help you. So I think the first piece in getting to victory is understanding who you are, where you are, and then also understanding that God has got people. So it's like picking the phone up and calling 911, uh, asking, I, I, I gotta have help, I gotta get to the emergency room, I need help, and so you're willing to make that phone call. So that's, that's number one, point number one, and I encourage you to analyze where you're at and be honest with where you're at, and be open to the idea that God uh, can raise up the people that will get you to a better place. So, uh, Father, just pray for these who are watching this, that you would just give them the hope and the help that they need. And may they be honest, and Father, may they be open to your work in their lives to bring them out of this situation and get them to a better place. So, Father, give them the, the, the strength and the help they need. In Jesus' name, amen, amen.